Let's go ahead and check in with that forecast now. Certainly a different day today than yep, yesterday. If you like the warm weather, you <laughs> like it dry, this is probably your type of thing. I can't think of any similarity between yesterday other than the fact that it was warm because it was humid. We were tracking storms rolling through today. Much, much nicer here. You can see a lot of sunshine. In fact, check this out. You can see one of those uh, sun dogs trying to develop here on our South Charlotte camera. Atmospheric optics. Pretty cool there, especially on a Wednesday afternoon after a messy, messy day yesterday. If you've been out and about at all today, you know that it feels better outside right now. We have drier air mixing in. Notice all the spot shaded in green, seeing some lower dew points, even down toward rock. Hill, Lancaster, we're still seeing some drier and mixing in there. Chester is the only spot that's sticky for right now. And if you haven't been outside, maybe a good time to do so because the weather this evening is going to be fabulous too. We have hour by hour forecast looking at a mostly to partly sunny sky right now and then eventually a few more clouds build in overnight. Rain and storms look to stay largely to our south, so I'm not anticipating any problems there for the Charlotte Knights. Taking on Scranton there, 635 is that first pitch. And one of the reasons why we are drier today is we have this storm storm system that stalled just to our south. This stalled front is going to essentially hang out for multiple days, turning just to our south before eventually shifting off the coastline. And as it does so, while we will see a few areas of clouds heading through the next few days and a few showers, I'm not anticipating a lot of thunderstorm activity. In fact, this storm system, this low is going to eventually spin off the coast of the Carolinas, allowing for a lot of heavy rain along the immediate coast. In fact, Charleston, South Carolina, seeing some substantial flooding from some of that rain today, eventually toward the Outer Banks and even coastal Virginia as we get closer to the weekend. But what that's going to do is wrap in some drier air around it and help us out at least on Friday afternoon drying out most of the area if you have Friday evening plans. So tomorrow more clouds do build in as that storm system is just to our south. Notice a few showers possible, but largely we are dry, so I'm keeping those rain chances low. Low in rain chances for a few spots east of Charlotte on Friday morning, and then eventually you see those drying conditions as that storm system pulls off to the east. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll see this storm system head away and an approaching cold front coming in from the northwest. It's going to allow for us to see a lot of warm and humid air coming in from the south. As it does so, I I am keeping a low end opportunity for rain and storms Saturday and Sunday, but I'm really not expecting a lot of activity here. Sunday is really the better chance to see some of those thunderstorms as the storm system is rolling through. After that, though, look what happens Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Your guy roofing seven day forecast looks a lot better. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll see drier air mixing in. Temperatures the upper 70s to lower 80s. So pretty much early next week is kind of like what we're seeing today. Now, I do want to point out I've seen a lot of stuff on social media about how it always rains on the week but never during the week. This weekend's rain chances very, very low. Not expecting a washout. 20 to 30 percent is not much, and I wouldn't be surprised if these numbers go even lower. So, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic, but it will overall be a good weekend. All right. Thank you, Brittany.